Hello there. Hi. <laughs> and welcome to the channel. For those of you who are new, quick introductions. Those of you who are at Bible study tonight, welcome. Hello. And those of you who are new, you're subscribers or you're watching for the first time, my name is Jacqueline Paul. And this is my excellent, magnificent husband of 25 plus years, Ryan Paul. And we are the very blessed parents of four grown children, 24, 22, 21, and 18 year old. Our two oldest children are married and we have a grandson who is one, years of, one year old, one year old. and yep, two new grandchildren that are growing steadily in their mother's wombs as we speak. And we are extremely blessed. We are also both Bible teachers, have been for many years now, and the senior ministers um, of a church in Tukaroa, New Zealand. And we just love to share and preach and teach the Word of God. And we're so blessed to be here tonight sharing with you on the hotly requested topic of parenting. Awesome. In particular, and I'm going to invite Raya to begin for us, and that is on the topic of We've had a couple of questions from, say, young, uh, I say young because they're probably like the 12, 13-year-olds, yeah. but we could talk any, but say that uh, age group with some parents sharing with us, Ish, there's some pretty bad habits uh, or things that have developed that we're noticing and uh, maybe we've kind of let it go a little bit in the hopes that they would just get saved and it would get sorted or that maybe the church or school or something could sort it out. Um but it is a, a bit of an issue and it is actually getting quite concerning. What help can you give us as parents? Come on. Um, well, yeah, what I'll do is I'll start with, uh, say, my parenting and how I was yeah. as a parent. Um, I believe this can be helpful because obviously we don't start perfect. We're not like, you know, we have a child and become the perfect parent straight away. Amen. Um, no, we learn and we grow in it. Yeah. And that's why we love doing what we do. Yes. Because we want to give as many young couples, as many young marrieds, young families, the best opportunity yeah. they can have to really flourish and grow. That they can avoid the potholes and pitfalls and things that we experienced. I love that. And that we can bring them to that place of maturity when it comes to their marriage and their families. Um, more quickly than say that we did. <laughs> yeah. Um, so um, I was brought up Christian, um, but I didn't have my own relationship with God. Well, actually, I'll put it this way. I fell for um, um, a, a demon. Uh, it was a demon of uh, sexual lust. Uh, so I became a porn addict. Um, and so at the very beginning, early stages of my life, my parenting was yeah not the best at all. Um, I was very selfish, um, so the, the attention my children got, unless we're playing fun games and doing fun things, mm. um, when it came to addressing issues, when it came to um, uh, meeting their emotional needs, spiritual needs, I basically referred them to my wife. Um, she would take care of that. And um, so I was very passive in my parenting, not active at all. Um, so just, I just want people to be aware of that because there's, there's that aspect. Right. So there's passive parenting. Um, we have the mindset of, well, one, it's laziness. I can't be bothered or ignorance. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to do this. So I just kind of just let it go. Um, unless it's a serious matter, then obviously I can't let it go. Um, or there's the, um, um, oh, they'll figure it out. Um, you know, all the hope that, you know, they'll get born again soon, they'll get born again soon, like, you know, and you're kind of just leaving it to, I don't know, other people, yeah. the church, God, um, whereas, you know, I believe God's given us as parents the responsibility yeah. of raising our children. So that's how I started. Mm. But then uh, once I gave my life over to Jesus and Jesus removed the um, the idols and the, the, um, the sexual perversion out of my life, and, uh, and I started living for Jesus Christ. God. What then happened in me then was I, w I became more attentive to my children's needs. Um, so again, I, I want to put that emphasis on um, that God gives us the grace as parents. Yeah. Um, and obviously that grace is, yep, it's there on every parent, I believe. But when you follow Jesus Christ, mm. you, you walk in it a lot more strongly. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's just uh, you're more readily. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, available for your children um so yeah so the first you know 
uh, early stages of our marriage and, and, and um, our raising our family, um, a lot of the responsibility was on my wife, which I am now ashamed of. Um, um, but now becoming a man, you know, growing up, maturing, yeah. um, taking on my responsibilities as the head of my home, um, I became more attentive to my children. Um, so kind of just, you know, bringing both those sides. Yeah. Um, so there's the more passive, more carnal or fleshly way of bringing up your children. But then there's the way to do it in the spirit. Yeah. So I wanted to start with that. That's great. Secondly, I, That's I have great. a scripture. It's Romans 8.14. I'd like to read it to you. Uh, Romans 8.14 says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So I wanted to bring that to attention because um, as parents, we do see and we do notice uh, just different things that are going on in the family. And what I want us to know is that th that scripture says that they are... Um, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Now, I can flip that and it, and, and it can say the same thing, that those are, um, the sons of God are led by the Spirit That's of God. Great. So as sons and daughters of God, we are led by the Spirit. Amen. So as many as led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So I believe we, um, God brings to our attention um, as parents the needs of our children. Yeah. So whether they're emotional needs uh, physical needs, spiritual needs, uh, relational, um, you know, between siblings, mm. between us and them, them with us, like um, God brings them to our attention. Yeah. So what I want us to realize is that when we notice things, take it as you are being led by the Spirit. That's great. So when, when you take it that way, it kind of puts the fear of God in you yeah. that that's the Spirit of God letting me know there's an issue. Right. You as the parent. I've given you the grace. Go deal with that. That's brilliant. So, um, and you want to do it as quickly as you can. I love that. Um, and the reason being for that is because, you know, if you save it like three or four days, oh, by the way, you remember the other day? Like yeah. they're going to go, no. No. <laughs> so you're trying to address something about it, but they're going to, okay, okay. It's not really going to register. But when you do it soon after the event or what you've seen, you might have seen a, a spout of pride or rebellion um, or selfishness or... They're being emotional, just not themselves, um, you know, or mm, you lied, you just lied to me, um, you know, don't, uh, and kind of, mm, you know, it's like, no, 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 you are led by the Spirit. It's like, no, that's not right. Um, but you want to address it as, as soon as you can. Um, so when it comes to these things, so you might see just your behavior, your children, um, you can see that they're, they're not growing. So, because um, obviously children need to grow. Um a child that's two years old, you expect them to act like a two-year-old. But when they're 10, you don't expect them to be still acting like a two-year-old. Mm -hmm. So there is a development that happens that brings them on to manhood or womanhood. And, um, but if you see that they're, they're, they're kind of stunted in their growth, you're not, they're not, you're not seeing much growth, um, those are the kind of things that you, you want to address. Um, you don't just, oh, they'll get it. They'll eventually get it. And it's like, no, 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 no. Um, if, if you, you know, um, being a parent and, you know, if you love your child, you, you want to see them growing and developing in maturity. And maturity is you're developing character, um, you're developing in, in being able to share, um, being able to forgive, um, you know, so, so many different things. And we, we could just really just, you know, broaden it out here. But um, so if you're not, you know, if you're not seeing your child develop socially um, um, or you're seeing an emotional need. So. Uh, there have been seasons where our children, uh, you know, they're a bit short-wicked, they're um, a bit more aggressive or just, you know, a bit more rebellious towards me. And you're like, hey, that's not, that's how, that, that, mm, something's not right. So I'm seeing fruit of not just that it's rebellion, but there's something underlying there. Like, what's going on? They're not happy. They're not, there's something stirring in them that's causing them to, you know, bark, be prickly, like, you know, and not get along with their siblings and they're just getting... You know, they're all that teary, they're crying all the time. And you're like, hmm, nah, something's not right. But see, you notice those things. You're, we're being led by the Spirit here, yeah. and we want to address them. So you pull them aside and you address it, you talk with them, you, um, you know, get to the heart of the issue. And, and it could be, and I've found, i found when children are like that, it's because they haven't had much just one-on-one -on -one quality time with me or with my wife, like with Jack, um, the, the parents. And they, 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 their love bank is, is, you know, the fuel tank's a little empty. And um, so you just sow a bit of time with them, have fun with them, 
communicate, have a talk, sit down, have a little, you know, little cuppa, like, mm -hmm. you know, get their little Milo or hot chocolate and you grab your cuppa, your coffee, your tea, and just sit down and just have one-on-one -on -one with them. And um, what we've found in, in our parenting is that they're like, wow, they come alive and, and all of a sudden their behavior's changed. And it's like two days, three days, four days, give them a week. And, um, and their behavior has changed dramatically. So again, we're just kind of aware of these things. But when it comes to children that are more um, proud, rebellious, even, you know, the, the, the kind of got bully behavior, they're picking on younger kids or uh, different things like that. And you notice it, it's very important to get onto it quickly. Mm. Um, uh, in any of these instances, any of them, you want to get onto them as soon as you can. Um, uh, for love's sake, um, uh, because, you know, especially when it comes to like bullying, when it comes to, um, you know, they're just they're picking on younger kids or weaker kids or whatever the case may be. You want to get on to that um, because one, it's like, OK, why is my child like that? There's got to be an underlying issue there. But they're now affecting other other children, they're affecting other families. And and um, so and obviously, you know, because we are part of a kingdom of love, agape love. We want to, you know, we want to bring peace. We want to, um, you know, have families that enjoy one another and so on. So we protect that. We, we um, uh, um, you know, fight for that. And so it's really important that you get onto it uh, very quickly. And, um, yeah, and, and not have these mindsets. Like, um, I, I really want to point out, I, I, I want to call a spade for what it is. I, you know, I don't, I don't want to beat around the bush or anything. But because this is what I was, I was passive. So, um, you know, I love my kids. I love my kids. But then if you're not addressing them, then mm, you're, you're kind of showing actions that, look, I know you do, but you're not demonstrating it. And that's not fair or that's not right. Um, but yeah, you're, you're um, uh, you know, you're being selfish or yeah, passive. You're not, you're not caring for them with your actions. And um, yeah, but, and, and this is why we want to do these teachings is to, so we can help parents come out of that and then walk in the fruitfulness that we experience um, and, and did experience while our children were under our care and under our roof, the richness, the, the depth of relationship, um, because we'd address it and address it in a way where we're, we're showing love and care for mm -hmm. them, not annoyance and frustration and you know, they've done it so many times that it's gotten under your skin. You're like, ah, you know, you just kind of, ah, um, and just let off your steam at them. Um, you know, they're kind of, you know, and, and you, you really want to address it in a way that, well, have you taught them? Have you instructed them? Have you let them know, um, you know, the, the way things ought to be or how you'd like your family to run or, or anything like that? Um, so you've educated them properly and thoroughly. Um, otherwise, your venting is not just. So, but it's just calm. Like you, you want to show love. You want to show that you care about them. And I believe that's a great place of strength to be able to be the parent. And that what you'll find then, which is what we experience. And I mean, we're we're kind of almost mind blown mm. by. I mean, they're grown adults now, yeah. but how much they love and respect us. Yeah. Now that just that didn't happen by chance. Yeah. That's because we sowed the time. Mm. We gave them the time. Yeah. We saw issues and we wanted to address it straight away. Why? Because we love and care. We love them and care for them. We, um, and we demonstrated it. Um, so we wanted to address those things. And, um, <clears throat> and it's, it's basically worked out that Jack did kind of the younger years. And then when they hit teens, then I kind of stepped up a lot more. Um, but I believe it was because of my passivity and, and you know, I, um, you know, my lifestyle choice in that sense. But then coming to Christ, that's been very balanced, mm. and um, which is really great because then we're working together as a yeah. team to parent these children. And so we've, we've come out the other side now and we're mind blown about how much love and respect that we actually get from our children. They love hanging with us like. They can't wait to, you know, like we say, you want to get for it? They're like, yes, please. They'll drop everything, like just to hang out with us. Okay. So, but this is, this is the fruit. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter where you're on your parenting. I mean, you might be finding parenting such a drain and it's like, uh, like, you know, and, and, um, but we want to encourage you that as you sow this time now and 
from two right through, just while you've got them under your roof, you'll reap the other side. And uh, the, the Bible says that don't go weary in sowing because in due season you shall reap. And, and the rewards are so rich, so satisfying. Um, like I can say that our joy is fulfilled. Um, so yeah, so getting on to it, um, uh, not allowing bad behavior to like escalate. Um, you want to nip it in the bud early. And what you're doing is you're saving your child and maybe other children um, distress and hurt or, you know, um, yeah. So, uh, so I, you know, I know our heart is we really want to encourage parents like uh, you are led by the Spirit of God. You are sons and daughters of God. You are born again. You're Christian. You are led by the Spirit of God because we are sons and daughters of God. The Bible is real clear on that. And from that scripture I just read, it's real clear that as many as are led by the Spirit, they are sons. So if we're sons, we're led. Um, so when you see things, just get on it, schedule it. And okay, I need to get on to that. I'll address that. And if you can't do it that day, then the next day you're on to it. And, um, and it may mean you just sit down and you boil the kettle and, you know, you kind of make it um, like comfortable, like you're making it so it's easy to correct. And um, yeah, and you, you want to make it easy. You can obviously the Bible also says that, you know, um, we'll probably get onto that a bit later. So I'll just save that one. Um, um, but yeah, just getting onto it. That's probably the first thing that I can stress because that's the change that happened in me is that I noticed it and I wanted to get on it straight away. And, um, and then what I've reaped from that. So because I've done that, I've opened them up to me to talk. I've, I've um, cultivated that. So now when they're old, they're, they're old, they've become adults, their hearts are still open towards me. So when they have issues or um, when they're feeling emotional or things are a bit out of whack in their lives, they, they, they call me, they'll text me, hey, Dad, can I have a call? Like, hey, can we have a catch up? Hey, you know, Dad, I, I need your help or whatever. And it, it's my privilege and my pleasure that my children do that. They're adults now, but that they, they, they welcome me, they invite me into their lives for any advice or counsel, for comfort, encouragement, even correction. And um, so uh, it's such a blessing as a parent to be able to have that. And our heart is that you have the same. And that's why we're doing this recording. So yeah.